This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I want to cover this article from Variety. Kind of slipped under my radar, and I just figured I'd make a video on it now. But the news is still pretty fresh, and honestly, it hasn't even begun yet as far as the filming in the movie. So it's called Giant Depth of Star as Controversial French King Louis the 15th in My Wen's Next Film. Now, we know this news. You guys have heard this. Giant is going to play the French king. That's not the big news here. The news and the thing I want to talk about is the angle that Variety is coming at this with. I don't read a ton of Variety. To be honest, I don't read a ton of everything. I read pieces of everything. So I'm always trying to figure out who's on Johnny's side and who isn't. So let's see what they got. Johnny Depp will star as French king Louis XV in the next film directed by French Helmer Maiwin whose shoot will begin this summer, Variety has confirmed. Okay, didn't realize that. Kind of far away, but all right. The movie whose title and exact plot are kept on the wraps is being produced by Pascal Quanchatex, I'm not saying that right, I'm trying, and Giore Surlat's Paris-based Why Not Productions with Wild Bunch International handling world sales. That was a mouthful. I did my best. Let's move on. Filming will take place for three months on location across Paris and landmarks, mainly at the Rosalie's Palace, if I'm saying that one right. So many names here, so many names that I could potentially screw up. But the important thing to take away here is that we know it's filming in the summer and we know it's going to take three months. So this movie, unfortunately, won't be out for a very long time, but we could look forward to it. Mywin will star as Jean Dubarry, a countess who was Louis XV's last mistress. Louis XV, who was nicknamed the Beloved and reigned for 59 years, the longest in the history of France after that of Louis. I'm not going to try that. I think the Louis king before him. Paradoxically, Louis XV died as an unpopular king after being accused of corruption and debauchery. The project was first reported by the French website Saddle Effects. The American actor who has been accused by his ex-wife Amber Heard of domestic violence hasn't made a film since Andrew Levitas' 2020 film, Mina Mata, a film about a war photographer, W. Eugene Smith. So they got to mention that he was accused by Amber Heard, but at least they got the accused part right. They didn't say he was a proven wife beater or any of that crappy stuff in the media once in a while you see. So it's factual. It's not really relevant to the movie talk. So I'd give that like, Half of a point off variety. But now they say this. Although he's fallen from Hollywood's good graces since the accusations and his libel case against the UK tabloid The Sun, Depp hasn't faced much backlash in Europe, which is actually a good point. They do have to say he fell from grace. But I guess you could say that is somewhat factual. But they do mention he hasn't faced backlash in Europe, which is good. He recently received honorary awards at the Calvary Festival and San Sebastian Film Festival. Depp was also celebrated at the Deweyville American Film Festival. Excuse me. Yeah, I got that right. Film Festival in the French Normandy in 2020 and received an award from the hands of Catherine Denview. This has got to be the article with the most somewhat difficult names to pronounce I've ever read. Unless Mywin's film shoots in English, which is unlikely, this role as Louis XV will require Depp to work on his French. He lived in France for many years with Vanessa Parody, with whom he has a daughter, Lily Rose. Depp, but still has a noticeable American accent. That was a weird sentence. Depp, but still has a noticeable American accent. Well, I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. They'll work it out, I guess. I could tell you learning a language is not easy and emulating a native speaker is not easy. I personally don't really care so much how good his accent is as long as it's like passable or decent or maybe there's something unique about the way he's talking. It's just not the number one thing to me. Yeah, it should be somewhat authentic. I understand if you're French and it just doesn't sound good to you, maybe that could hurt the enjoyment of the movie. But I think for the majority and for Johnny fans especially, we're not going to be very strict about it. The period movie will mark a departure from Mywin, an actor-turned-filmmaker whose films are all contemporary and often personal. Her last film, DNA, a thought-provoking ensemble family drama, was part of the Kane's 2020 official selection. 
our previous film, Mon Roi, or it's Roy. In Japanese, I'd say Roi. Oh, God, these names are killing me here. Earned its star Emuel Burkott and Best Actress Award at Keynes in 2015, while her 2011 drama, Polisi Poloso Polese, won the Keynes Jury Prize. All right, so here we go. We've got a lot of European names and things like that thrown around. But, you know, I think what we could take away from this is that Variety, I guess they're somewhat neutral about Johnny. Could have been worse. They do mention the allegations, which, again, isn't really necessary. They do mention he's fallen from Hollywood graces, which isn't really necessary. But they have a few positive things, like he hasn't faced backlash in Europe, which is a good thing to spread if people don't know about that. I see it all over Twitter. You know, Johnny in Europe with the crowds giving speeches. They love him. But you don't see it when you turn on CNN, Fox, Mainstream, your Google things. It doesn't come right up as like the first hit. So that is actually a pretty good thing to put in an article. As far as the actual movie, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. Like I said, the accent thing, whatever. I don't speak French. I don't know much about French. Going to be good enough for me. And I didn't see Minamata. Maybe at some point, just because I'm here in Japan and it's like such a depressing story. And there's like so many downers going around. You know, 2020 was terrible. 2021 wasn't so good. And 2022 is really bad for me so far. It's the worst out of them all. And I just don't need downers. So I just skipped it for now. But I'm sure it's great. But this one, I will not be skipping. I've got no real connection to France or the history or anything French. So I'll be looking forward to this. Unfortunately, it's like really far away. Summer's far away. Then three months after that, the filming, then the release date. So we got a long way to go. But when it does come out, I will be seeing it and reviewing it and all that kind of thing. You guys, let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Pop culture, that first heard. If you don't subscribe here, I guess I'll be pretty sad. But I'll get over it. See you next time. We're done for now.